potable water is life. And the good people of this country cannot live without it. And uh, likewise, everywhere else in the world. This buttress is the reason for me to be here again, to reiterate to this august house the steps the Ministry of Sanitation and Water Resources is taking to deal with the water situation in the country. Mr. So Speaker, the Ghana Water Company Limited currently operates 91 urban water supply systems throughout the country. The average production from these systems is about 871,496 cubic meters per day, which is equivalent to 192 million gallons per day, while the present portable water demand is estimated at 1,131,818 uh, cubic meters per day. There is a gap of a little over 57.20 million gallons per day. Mr. Speaker, the Community Water and Sanitation Agency is managing 175 of the piped water systems out of the 1,033 piped water systems across the 16 regions, while all the 29,829 boreholes fitted with hand pumps and the remaining 850 58 pipe water systems are being managed by the communities. The Ghana Water Company Limited is utilizing the Simons plant at Kong to its full capacity to transport 15,000 cubic meters per day of water for distribution. It has also activated the idle capacity at the Kong new water treatment plant to transport an additional 21,000 cubic meters per day of treated water for distribution. Mr. So Speaker, these projects are currently ongoing and they are expected to be completed by the end of the second quarter of 2022, bringing the total additional capacity to 36,000 cubic meters per day, which will be pumped through the Dodoa corridor to serve the eastern part of Accra. These projects are envisaged to significantly improve water supply to the greater Accra metropolitan area. Mr. Speaker, furthermore, the Ghana Water Company Limited is undertaking other interventions to address water, uh, the water situation uh, currently. These include, among others, replacement of weak sections of the 1,050 millimeter transmission pipeline from Kong Water Treatment Plant to Temabusta Station to improve water supply to Tema and surrounding communities. A total of 240 meters of the pipeline were replaced in the past year at a cost of 2.4 million cities. GWCL will replace an additional 360 meters using internally generated funds by the end of the year 2022. Nationwide installation of automatic voltage regulators, Mr. Speaker, will stabilize power supply because when the power supply ceases, the uh, sub, uh, pumping stations don't work. Mr. So, Speaker, it is gratifying to note the interventions undertaken by the government of His Excellency Nanado Danko Ekufuado over the past five years have seen remarkable improvement in water delivery. This is evidenced by the 2021 Population and Housing Census report released by the Ghana Statistical Services, which puts the percentage of households with access to basic drinking water services nationwide at 87.7%.